Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I am going to show you how you can install WordPress through Namecheap. This video is going to be a complete tutorial, so if you follow along by the end of this video, you will be able to install WordPress through Namecheap. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is of course come over to Namecheap right here. If you do not yet have a Namecheap account, I will leave a link down in the description where you can go ahead and sign up for Namecheap. And if you do so using that link, you can get a huge discount on all of your hosting. So with that being said, of course, once we have Namecheap, we then need to go over to hosting here at the top and go into shared hosting. This is where we need to go ahead and actually buy the hosting. And this is what we can use to actually host WordPress. As I say, using that link in the description, you can get a huge discount on these plans. So first of all, we have the billing cycle. You can change this between monthly, yearly, or every two years. And then we can also change the data center. Now the data center that you go with, whether this is the US, the UK, or EU, depends on where most of your audience is from. For example, if your website is primarily targeting people in the US, you will go for US. If your website targets people in the UK, go for UK, and then Europe, go for Europe. So select those options right there. And then as you can see for the hosting, we have Stellar, we have Stellar Plus, and we have Stellar Business. Now with the Stellar right here, we can see the price for the yearly plan is going to be $1.98 per month. So we pay $22 for the year. For this, we get a domain name that is included. Now, a little bit misleading here because the domain name is not, they're not the best domain names. Um, you can go for a .fun, .host, .online, .site, any of these you can get for free. However, the higher level domains, your .coms, your .cos, you are going to have to pay a little bit extra to actually get that domain. We can then have up to three websites with the seller, up to 20 gigabytes SSD, up to 30 mailboxes, and then we also get a website builder, which is the Namecheap website builder, and it is not the best. Uh, WordPress is definitely a better option here. However, the website builder is still included. With the Stellar Plus, we also get the free lower level domains. However, with this, we also get .com, .biz, and .co for a huge discount. We can also host unlimited websites with this. We get unmetered SSD, unlimited mailboxes, auto backup, and access to the website builder once again. So this is where I would recommend that most people watching this video go for. It just has a lot more power, and especially with these auto backups, this is the plan that you probably want to go for. Stellar Business is a little bit overkill. It is a lot more expensive, coming in at $58 for the year compared to 48. And the only real difference here is that you get 50 gigabytes of SSD, and then also this cloud storage. So as I say, a little bit overkill. Most people are going to want to go for this Stellar Plus. If you do want to get more details about this, you can take a look in a lot more detail in this section at the bottom. However, most of what you need is mentioned here. I'm just going to go with Stellar Plus. From here, we can then choose if you want to buy a new domain name. You can simply go here and I can search for like GeForce North123. And then we can see, we can go ahead and purchase one of these domains. We have a discount on this domain, of course, because we went for that medium plan, but we can also choose from these free domains right here. Alternatively, you can go up and connect an existing domain, and you can choose one of the domains you already own with Namecheap. All you would do is either buy or select the domain, click connect to hosting right here, and then you can go through and make your purchase and actually buy the hosting. Okay, so once that first step is done and we now have the hosting, what we can do from here is actually go ahead and install WordPress so that we can use this with Namecheap as the hosting provider. To do this, you just want to go up to account at the top right here and then click into your dashboard. Once this dashboard loads up, we can then go over on this left hand side and you can see this menu. From here, click into the hosting list. Once the hosting list opens up, you should be able to see the domain that you just bought over here. So all we need to do now is find your domain and click on this button that says go to cPanel. This is then going to redirect us over to cPanel right here. And as you can see, we are now in cPanel. 
Once cPanel has loaded up, if you scroll down a little bit here, you can see under script, we have WordPress. So just scroll down on cPanel until you see WordPress right here. Go ahead and open that up. And then all we need to do from here is click on this big blue install button. And it's then going to take us over to this page where we can go ahead and set everything up. The first thing you are going to want to do is if you bought the SSL when you bought your domain, is change this from HTTP to HTTPS. If you did not buy SSL protection, then just leave this as HTTP. We can then select the version of WordPress that we want to install. I would recommend going for the latest version possible at the point you're watching this video. We can then go down and choose your site name. So I could just say GForce North blog, just like that. We can then enter in a site description right here. And then over on this right hand side, this is where you can create your username and password for WordPress. It's going to give you this randomly generated one. So what I would recommend is going in here, changing the admin username and admin password. And this is how you can log into WordPress. We also have the email right here. So you can go ahead and change this, change this first bit. So it is your name at your domain. We can then scroll down and choose the language. So you can just select the language for your site. For plugins, I would just leave these as they are. And then all we have to do here is click on install. That is going to go ahead and start installing. And then once this is loaded up, you can simply click on this administrative link right here. And this will take you over to WordPress. So from here, you can use WordPress like normal, go and install plugins, create your website and everything like that. So that is how you can install WordPress using Namecheap. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.